A uh, very good day to you. Uh, my name is Chia Sulan. I'm the master trainer for the certification course uh, IPCCID. So we're going to discuss a little bit about uh, what to expect during this training and certification. So first thing is uh, it's actually an entry level and what happens is that we are actually giving you uh, terminologies of the uh, basics and fundamental of IPC standards. So in this design uh, we're using uh, IPC standards as a whole to teach you about uh, DFX con concepts. So actually it's a very comprehensive understanding of how you can apply uh, the standards uh, in your product design. So basically if we look at DFX concept, uh, we are looking at DFM, DFA, DFT and DFR. So what does it mean to your product? Uh, basically, when we look at this concept, it means that how easy is it to fabricate your board? Of course, you can design whatever you like, uh, the smaller the better, but however, when it comes to manufacturing, assembly, you know, the cost could be quite high. So in this design training, what we are doing is to show you uh, industry best practices as in standards. Standard means uh, that it has been proven and is stable and we would like to recommend them uh, to your product or your design. And uh, in addition, certification here is internationally recognized, which means that it's not just uh, in US, but in Singapore or Southeast Asia or the rest of the world. And it adds value to yourself and your company. So it's going to be very good if you are a new engineer who has just started and you're not very sure about terminologies and how you know the PCB works and how to design them. Uh, you could attend this and gain the knowledge in order for you to do a very good design. Um, if you're an engineer with 10 years, 20 years experience, it's also suitable because sometimes uh, during the course of your working career, uh, you have many experience but unfortunately you may not have something physical like a certificate to show show your value, your knowledge. So this is again something valuable which you can gain and then it's part of your career achievement or enhancement. And then uh, remember it's not just for PCB CAD designers because ultimately uh, we are getting uh, many projects uh, manager, uh, manufacturing and process engineers have started to attend the training and you know they find that whatever they learn here is knowing about how design and process is interrelated. So if you have a design for manufacturing means it's easier to fab the board, right? Design for assembly is easier to assemble. So these are uh, trade-offs the designer needs to make and they can communicate better with the designer. Okay, so uh, short introduction and thank you very much for your time.